No one can surpass it. It is the largest ever recorded. Its capabilities and strength are astonishing, competing in size with the modern African lion, making it the most dangerous and terrifying species among its kind. In a world full of large and small dogs of all kinds, seeing a German shepherd gives an impression of grandeur to most observers. But now imagine facing a much larger dog, a wild predator ready to attack anything that threatens it. Prepare to take a journey through time, to explore the depths of prehistoric ages and discover the largest dog that ever walked the earth. Today, we tell the amazing story of the true giant among dogs, known as Epikion Haydini. Over time, dogs have been companions to humans, evolving from wild wolves to the diverse breeds we know today. In all their shapes and sizes, whether large or small, weak or strong, they hold a special place in our lives. Breeds like the Great Dane and English Mastiffs impress with their size and strength, but despite their grandeur, they do not come close to the giant canines that inhabited our planet millions of years ago. To understand this, we need to understand their evolution before delving into the past. To appreciate the magnificence and strength of the ancient canines, we first need to place them in the context of the dogs we know today. Imagine walking alongside a Great Dane, one of the largest domestic dog breeds ever. These dogs can reach heights of 76 to 86 centimeters at the shoulders and weigh between 54 and 90 kilograms. Their stature and elegance make them gentle giants in the dog world. Another example is the English Mastiff, known for its strong and muscular build. These dogs can weigh between 68 and 95 kilograms, reaching heights similar to the Great Dane. Their majestic presence in history date back centuries of human companionship. In the wild, there are also large-sized dogs. The gray wolf, for example, is the largest wild dog today. But despite these impressive sizes, modern dogs are dwarfed in comparison to the giants that roamed the earth in ancient times. For millions of years, North America was home to gigantic dogs and enormous predators that dominated their eras. So let's get to know some of these prehistoric giants. We start with the dire wolf, or Canis dyrus, which lived during the Ice Age, approximately between 125,000 and 10,000 years ago. It was larger and more powerful than the gray wolf, with an average weight of 70 to 80 kilograms, although some individuals weighed up to 95 kilograms. It was known for its powerful jaws capable of crushing bones, allowing it to make the most of the prey it hunted. This predator roamed the forests of North and South America, coexisting with other giants like mammoths and saber-toothed cats. Before the dire wolf appeared, there was Armbruster's wolf, or Canis armbrusteri, which lived between 1.8 million and 300,000 years ago. As one of the dire wolf's ancestors, Armbruster's wolf was larger with some individuals weighing around 100 kilograms on average and surpassing that at its peak. Unlike modern wolves, this wolf is believed to have been a solitary hunter, perhaps due to its exceptional size and strength. But all this seems small compared to the true giant that walked the earth during the Miocene epoch, which is Epikion hydeni, the largest of the dogs. Epikion Hydeni lived between 16 and 5 million years ago, during the Middle and Late Miocene. Imagine an animal that could rival the modern lion in size. Its total length, including the tail, was about 2.4 meters, with a shoulder height between 90 centimeters and 1 meter, dominating vast areas of North America. Its weight averaged 136 kilograms, but estimates suggest that some individuals reached 170 kilograms at their peak. Its jaws were extremely powerful, capable of generating a bite force close to that of the modern jaguar. Its teeth were specialized for cutting meat and crushing bones, indicating a highly aggressive diet. This allowed it not only to hunt large prey, but also to consume parts that other predators could not benefit from. Epicheon Haydeni was not only large, it was also a highly efficient predator. It is believed to have been an ambush hunter, 
combining brute strength and speed to take down large herbivores. In North America, Epitheon hydani coexisted with other predators and large herbivores of the time, and being at the top of the food chain, it shaped the ecosystem around it. Some researchers believe this animal may be part of the evolutionary lineage of the spotted hyenas we know today, while others refute this idea, claiming that the two animals are unrelated. To understand the size of Epikion hydini, we can compare it to other large predators. The African lion, for example, reaches a length of 2.5 meters and weighs between 150 and 250 kilograms. Although Epichion hydani did not reach the weight of the largest cats, its size and weight made it close to the weight of the modern lion. Unlike cats, which are usually ambush predators with climbing and jumping skills, Epitheon hydani combined resilience and striking power, adapting to chasing and taking down large prey. Bite force is a crucial indicator of a predator's strength. Spotted hyenas today are known for their strong jaws, with a bite force of about 1,100 pounds per square inch. This is the pressure exerted when the mouth is closed. The jaguar has the highest bite force among cats, ranging between 1,350 and 2,000 pounds per square inch. Considering that the jaguar is much larger than the spotted hyena or Epicyon hydini, which had a bite force ranging between 1,500 and 1,800 pounds per square inch, surpassing some tigers and certainly all hyenas. These animals had the ability to reach the bone marrow of their prey, rich in fats and essential nutrients found at the heart of the bone. This was a valuable food source during times of scarcity and enabled them to defend significantly in confrontations with other predators. During the Miocene epoch, North America was a diverse and dynamic ecosystem inhabited by various large animals. Large herbivores like primitive horses, giant deer, hornless rhinoceros, and mastodons roamed the plains and forests. This abundance of prey provided an ideal environment for large predators like Epikion hydani. However, it was not alone at the top of the food chain. It competed with saber-toothed cats, primitive bears, and other carnivores for the same resources. This intense competition may have driven the development of unique traits in Epikion hydani, such as stronger jaws and larger body size, to outcompete its rivals and ensure its survival. Despite its success as a predator, Epikion hydani eventually disappeared. The reasons for its extinction are still under study, but several theories have been proposed. One possibility is that climate change during the late Miocene altered habitats and prey availability. As the global climate became drier and cooler, forests retreated and grasslands expanded, changing the ecosystems to which Epikion hydani had adapted. Prey began to dwindle and predators succumbed to hunger and scarcity of prey. This paved the way for more specialized and adaptable predators possibly smaller and more flexible, like the gray wolves. Additionally, the evolution of herbivores played a critical role in predator history. Herbivores may have developed better defenses, such as greater speed or herd behavior, making hunting more challenging for these large animals. The existence of a large dog like Epikion hydani challenges our perceptions of evolutionary boundaries and potential adaptations within the Kennedy family. It shows us that nature can produce remarkable creatures and that evolution often follows unexpected paths. The journey to uncover more details about the largest dog that walked the earth is still long and science has much more to uncover. Studies are not yet complete and many questions require answers. Digital reconstructions attempt to depict what Epikion Haydini looked like in its physical form millions of years ago. However, these attempts remain not entirely accurate, but give us a glimpse of this ancient giant.